some of the gigs that really stick in my mind, I think one time this was at Hammersmith, when we used to have a, a thing called the Kabuki Curtain. I suppose some <laughs> people who have been came to see Magnum back then would remember the Kabuki Curtain. <laughs> yeah. Basically, the intro yes. tape started. Yeah. <laughs> And then the moment the intro tape stopped, the kabuki curtain would drop instantly. As if by magic. As if by magic. And we'd crack on with the first opener, bah, the first big chord, the fireworks would go off, and we are off and running. So the one time, the kabuki curtain didn't drop. Uh, but we still came in with the first chord. Meanwhile, a couple of the crew had climbed, were climbing up the kabuki curtain to find out why it hadn't dropped. And then the fireworks went off, and the kabuki curtain set fire. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, it's quite funny looking back, I think. But we did have a couple of crew in, in hospital by the halfway through that game. Uh, I didn't find out until afterwards. <laughs> you know, this, the show must go on. We were playing Barrowlands, fantastic place to play. You remember Barrowlands, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. And once again, the intro tape starts, and uh, Mickey and I used to sneak along behind the drums and the keyboards to get into place while the intro tape was on, <coughs> all in the dark. <laughs> and a roadie would shine a torch uh, for you to go. So it was Yatta, our roadie at the time. He shone the torch for me, uh, and I stepped over what looked like the flight case or the bottom of a flight case of a 4x12, you know, it's a, um, and I stepped over that and there was nothing <laughs> the other side of it. He sent me off the back of the stage. Oh, it sent you diagonally. We, we, there was an L shape on the back of the stage. Was there? Yeah. So oh, it's more than I know. There's the stage. Okay, this is Barrel and in Glasgow. This is Mark's place. Mark's over here. We're coming up the back here like that. And Mark's with the Yatta, oh, he's got I the see torch, how it happened. and Yatta shines the torch over to there, which is the back of Mark's bit, and Mark walks. This is the torch. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark walks straight over, across the diagonal. Is that, is that quiet, there. clear? Yeah. But this uh, 15 foot drop. And all the smoke's there, so you can't shut it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You weren't injured though, were you? You ripped the arse out of your pants. No, no, well, I, I caught this flight case on the way over to nothing. Went down, I mean, it was a fair drop. Uh, I think it was four or five feet. And I landed on my shoulder. That's the last thing I remember, but apparently my foot caught this flight case, which brought that over as well, which hit me on the head and knocked me clean out. And indeed, uh, my, my jeans were ripped from the front right round to the back. Um, but the show must go on. But, um, anyway, they carried me back into the dressing room and um, I'm com completely out and I start to come round and um, there I am with my trousers split open. There's two young St John's ambulance girls standing there looking, looking a little shocked. Like, oh, oh. And uh, I remember Hayden, our tour manager at the time, said, have you got a spare pair of trousers? Not like, how are you? Are you all right? Or anything like that. Have you got a spare pair of trousers? The worst thing of it was you landed actually in a pit of snakes, didn't you? Well, you thought it was snakes. Vipers. Vipers, yeah. <laughs> landed in a box of vipers. Anyway, so... Um, it, it wasn't a box of vipers. Uh, no. It was well, cables, wasn't it? Oh, it that's right. Multicore. Multicore, yeah. That's the stuff they use on stage for the wires. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I got my spare trousers. Um, threw a large one back, got myself together, a bit shaken, and they started the intro tape again and the show went on. Mm. Uh, that was one funny thing. Mm. That was quite, a, I, remember, I remember that show was particularly, um, it, it was, you could say it was a rocking show. Oh, it's a suspended floor, yeah. Barrowlands is a big, big old dance floor on a third floor of this warehouse in Glasgow and Barrowlands, if you want. Is it still there? Yeah, still working. So still it's going. a sprung dance floor. And then we've got this massive PA stacked up. And we're in the first or second song, I can't remember. But the, the audience, all, all the people there were jumping up and down simultaneously. 
and the PA stack started to go like this. And it was another one where the heroics of the crew, they were all, they were hold, the crew were actually holding the PA down, holding it from falling over. Yeah, it did, the floor moved about this much. Yeah. Well, it was rocking anyway. It was, yeah. It's a funny old place, Glasgow, isn't it? I yeah. like it up there. I love it, yeah. I remember after that gig, I was just going down the stairs back down to the bus. In fact, on the morning, I remember getting up on the bus in the morning, and hearing like, chick, 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 chick. so I jumped out of the bunk and walked up towards the front of the bus, and there was a guy with a, what must have been a bayonet, <laughs> trying to, a trying to leave her open the front door of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, what are you doing? He went, hey, he just put the bayonet back in his pocket and walked off. I thought, oh, that, that could have been a bit nasty. That <laughs> Anyway, back to the story of after the gig, I'm going down the stairs, so uh, it's a five flight loading and the crew are taking all the stuff down the stairs with the local crew, oh, all the stuff you know, and um, I said to, because um, you know, Birmingham, in, Birmingham, a standard greeting in Birmingham is, all right, yeah, my mum, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, right, so I said to this fella, all right, and he said, is that an offer? What, what does it mean? I hope you ain't got a bayonet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a bit like that. going. So, lost in translation. Really. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Like, it's like Johnny Kenny Funny. Do you know that one? No. Do you know what I'm saying? No. So uh, I went up to the bar. It could have been the same gig, and I went up to the bar before he did. I need a soft drink. So, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me good, my good man. Could I have a glass of orange juice? And he went, nah. I said, do you have any orange juice? Jenny Kenny Fanny. <laughs> I said, oh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. What, what is <laughs> the, the penny dropped eventually. Jenny Kenny Fanny. I'll slow it down for you. Jenny Kenny Fanny. Jenny Kenny Fanny. Do you want a can of Fanta? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>